Hey, my beautiful friends. This is Heidi from Bobo's Mama. I'm doing a very improv video. Um, I had put a question on my Instagram for my followers to just kind of give me video ideas and just um, what they wanted me to share on or what they wanted to see. And one of my friends from Instagram, uh, Shalice from Sub Busta Living, I just did a collab with her. She said, uh, what do I do to help my kids with their strength, strengths and weaknesses? So I thought that was a great question. And I wanted to talk about um, the weaknesses first. And what do I do to help them in the weakness, weaknesses? I have weaknesses of my own. I think we all do. So when it comes to learning um, in homeschool, um, my nine-year-old weakness is his reading. He's really good at getting concepts. He's great at math. He's great at um, geography. Just understanding science and creating. He's so creative. But his reading is um, at a lower level. He's at a lower level than he should be. Um, so what am I doing right now? I'm trying to um, come up with ways to get him to read without it feeling like a chore or um, an assignment, if you know what I mean. So I'm letting him pick as many books as he wants from the library when we go to the library and um, I'm letting him read at night. So the new thing that I have noticed is that when he um, sleeps in the couch because he just wants to sleep in the couch. So when he sleeps in the couch, he says, Mom, I love reading when I'm in the couch. And I said, oh, okay. So I'm trying to encourage that. Of course, he cannot sleep in the couch every day of the week because we have, um, my, my kitchen is right there. <laughs> this is the couch. I'm sitting on the couch right now. And uh, the problem with that is that I do a lot of my planning at nighttime. So I need this area to be relaxed and I need to be free so that I can do my, my, my planning and they need to be upstairs sleeping. But in the weekends, I'm letting him sleep in the couch and I'm encouraging him reading. So this is helping him. It is helping him. Um, I know that he's reading more and I'm very excited for him. So I'm praying that this is something that will help his reading um, level go up. But that's one of the things that I'm doing. If I see if it's a good thing, it's a positive thing, I'm gonna reinforce it. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is when it comes to, um, because we homeschool, the, the, the beauty of homeschooling too is that you can get very um, creative and you have that freedom to pull from different directions, even in, in whatever um, style you're in. You can still pull from other directions. So, um, JL had um, one of the tests in language arts. He got a very poor score. And what, like, in my nature as a mom, I'm gonna want him to succeed. So, um, what I did is I just looked for a game or something fun that would teach him the concepts that he was lacking um, knowledge on. So, I went online, I printed this fun activity, and we worked on all these um, parts of speech together. It boosted his knowledge, it boosted his confidence just by doing something fun, like some worksheets and a game. So I think that that's another uh, tip that I can give you that has worked for me to just kind of uh, bring a fun game to learn that one concept or that weakness that they're um, dealing with. Um, when it comes to Jonah's weakness, which is um, he's my first grader, uh, right now he is um, learning how to read and his weakness is paying attention. He's lacking focus. So I'm trying to come up with ways to get him to focus. And we're all gonna, as moms, we all try to get creative with um, and use what we have, the resources that we have. So um, how I help him is I know that I have to make it interesting for him. I know that I have to be patient with him. And that's one thing that sometimes I lack and I catch myself snapping and then I go, okay, you ready to listen? Um, Tell me what you want to tell me how you want me to tell you this so I have to tell you a story do you want me to stand like I try to come up with ways for him to engage um, and being patient is number one and I think that with any weakness patience is number one as mamas because we're their teacher and also just knowing that because we get to homeschool them because we're homeschooling them we can take it as fast and as slow as we want so that's the beauty of homeschooling. We can take our time with something that they're struggling with and we can um, 
add more things that will help them with that um, struggle and make it creative and make it more engaging and just whatever we need to do to get them through um, the level, right? So I thought I would share that. I also, when it comes to the strengths uh, with any any child, sometimes we tend to, um, depending on the strength, <laughs> we think that it, you know it's okay, I don't have to do much, this is his strong point, so I don't have to do much. But really we do need to feed their strengths. We do need to feed their strengths. So when it comes to JL, he's my creative guy, my my drawer, my um, he's my artist. So I try to encourage that. I try to promote it somehow, I try to uh, feed it. Uh, with Jonah, I'm still learning what his strength is. Right now, he's very flexible and he loves to jump and make funny faces and he's a little clown. I'm learning his uh, strong, um, his strength. But uh, with JL, I know that he likes to spend that time, that quality time. He loves to create, he loves to build, he likes to be creative. So I like to encourage that on him. Um, with JJ, he's my three-year-old, so I'm still learning him too. But I think that JJ's... Um, he's getting the concept so well and when it comes to math I think all three boys will be great at math it's just the language arts um, retaining information maybe science maybe history those are the things that I might have to work harder but I think that my kids will be good with math They're, it's something that I think that comes natural for them because of me and daddy because we're good at math so yes I just wanted to come up here I always say come up here but come here <laughs> Um, and just share with you really quick, um, like this question from Shalise was a great question. I wanted to kind of get your feedback too. what you do to encourage your child um, in their strengths and weaknesses. What do you do to help them? So I hope this was helpful. And of course, I always want to encourage and um just be positive in my channel so I hope that this was helpful and it was don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video